Here in Wyoming, it starts getting on to fall. Uh, the days get shorter, the nights get cooler, and our yards and uh, gardens tend to green back up a little bit. And we really have the temptation to stop watering. Uh, what we'd really like to suggest in this video is not doing that. You know, uh, we do have wonderful summers, but we also have really long winters here in Wyoming. And for all of our plants, it's really beneficial not to send them into winter drought stressed. If you can imagine, our, especially our trees and shrubs have gone all summer long. Um, we've kept our lawn green, the top three or four inches of soil, but boy, we get down below that where our trees and shrubs are living, and it can be pretty dry. We're looking at a really pretty little blue spruce bush here, and uh, you can imagine, uh, you know, winter's coming on. It looks really nice, it's got new growth, and it looks good. You can imagine how easy it would be not to water this bush. But if we water it now, send it into winter not stressed, it'll have more growth on it next year and it'll be healthier next year. In many parts of Wyoming, if it's above 45 degrees and the ground's not frozen, we probably want to water our trees. Be careful, um, if the wind's blowing, we probably don't want to be running the water in the winter time. Late fall and winter watering is a good idea for tree and shrub health. This is Hudson Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching from the ground up.